Today we pick up our Bible study in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 5. As we begin 1 Corinthians chapter 10, we begin part 1 of what will be a three-part Bible study that in whole will contain 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 through 13. In part 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 5, the Apostle Paul brings into light God's great plan of salvation for all humanity. He reminds his hearers or readers of this letter that as God chose his people Israel through their earthly father Abraham in Genesis chapter 17 verses 1 through 8 and then led them into captivity to save them from going extinct because of the great famine as we learn in Genesis chapter 42 verses 1 and 2 he also led them out of captivity from the Egyptians. It was during this time that God led his people Israel through the desert by a cloud during the day and a pillar of fire by night, as we learn in Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. The Israelites were symbolically baptized through the water when they passed through the Red Sea as this served as a symbol of their, of their being saved from the Egyptians in Exodus chapter 14. All of this being a reflection of Noah and his immediate family, the only God-fearing people in the world at that time, being saved from eternal damnation through the water or flood because of their faith and obedience to God, as we learn in Genesis chapter 6 through 8. Paul states in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 through 4, as I quote from the New King James Version, all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. So is Paul saying that Jesus was present with the Israelites in the desert? Yes, he was with them spiritually, as he has always been with God, and all things were created through him, as we learn in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. This is a perfect reflection of the Israelites of the Old Testament in the desert. John chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 states, In him was life, and the life was the light, was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Paul goes on to say in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5, But with most of them God was not well pleased for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. This is because as God gave them miracles of food and water in the desert, their shoes did not even wear out, as we learn in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 5. But they refused to put their faith completely in God. They continually fell to the sinful nature in disobedience to God. We learn in Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 4, Yet the Lord has not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear to this very day. This is a promise that the Israelites, the chosen people of God, were chosen to be an example to the world so that the world would see that the one true God of Israel is the only God who saves all who will believe in him. This is a promise that the Baptism and spiritual food and drink that God led the Israelites through the desert with is an example of and prelude to the spiritual bad baptism, food, and drink that we receive through our faith in Jesus today. After so many years of the Israelites following God and then falling away from him, after so many years of God forgiving the Israelites and raising them up over and over again, the Lord spoke through the prophet Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 24, verses 6 and 7. For I will set my eyes on them for good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. For they shall return to me with their whole heart. A heart to know God is a heart that has received his Holy Spirit through his gift to all humanity, through his one and only Son, Jesus. We now live in a time when God's presence dwells within us 
through his Holy Spirit, as he has promised to be with us always. So we learn in John chapter 14, verses 15 through 18, the Israelites were the example that individually we are not able to please God because we are prone to sin. No matter how hard we try to please God, we cannot. God gave us the example of the Israelites and all their mistakes and fallings away from God so that we could learn from them and not make the same mistakes. God gave us the example of his chosen people Israel to be an example for everyone who would come after them throughout history so that we could see the need for God in our lives to lead us and be our guide throughout life. He has given us that very guide through his Holy Spirit to live within us, God's presence with us forever, as we can be his children through our Savior Jesus who opened the door to eternal life and forgiveness. We are the recipients of the gift that God gave unto salvation and eternal life. Dear Lord, let us not be as the Israelites described by Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, as he states, But with most of them God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. But let us be recipients of your Holy Spirit in new life, as described by the Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 15, verses 8 and 9. So God, who knows the heart, Acknowledge them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us, Peter says, and made no distinction between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. We love you, Lord, and we need you to live within us and lead us through our lives on earth so that we can live eternal with you in heaven. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you would like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your family and friends.